Welcome to video 24 of Gamer to Game Developer Series 1. And in this video, we'll implement the Hurt Effect. So we have two simple objectives. One is to make the Hurt Effect texture, and then the other is to build and run the game and discuss the Hurt Effect script. So what this is all about is that our Hurt Effect script, which will attach to the player, will cause a reddish texture to appear on the screen whenever the player is hurt. So the purpose of it is to simply just let the player know that they've been hit by something, rather than them having to look at their health bar. So it's easy indication. And how it will work is very simply when the player's health in the health and damage script drops below their last health which has been recorded by this hurt effect script, then the hurt effect script knows from that that the player has lost some health and that this texture should be drawn across the screen. So let's go ahead to our very first step, which is to make the hurt effect texture. Let's make our texture now. So file new, make the size 512 by 512. I'll add an alpha channel, so layer transparency, add alpha channel, I'll clear it, so edit, clear. I will change the four color, I'll make it a full red. I'll use the gradient tool, I'll select that. I'll change the gradient type to FG to transparent. I'll flip it so that the transparent side is on the left. I'll change the shape to a square. And I'll change the transparency, well, the opacity to 30%. And I'll also add to, so what, for this, what I need to do, so I'll just draw it, so I'll just draw like that as an example. And unless we have it in the center, you'll notice that the, tr the transparent bit, the most transparent bit, will be wherever we started drawing from. So what I want to do is to have that bit in the very center of the screen. So let me just undo that. And to do that, we'll just add some guides. So we go over to Image, Guides, and New Guide by Percent. So let's add a horizontal guide, yes, at 50%. Okay, so that's the blue line that appears. Let's add another one. Image, Guides, Guide by Percent. And this time I'll pick a vertical. Okay, so that is the exact middle of the screen. So now it's easy for me to know how to draw my transparency, or my gradient, sorry. So all I need to do is draw from the center to the corner. I do that, and there we go. So now the texture is even, and the transparent portion is in the middle of the screen. So let's go ahead and save it. So if I'll save as, in our assets textures folder, and I'll call this hurt effect dot png. Okay, so that's done. I'll jump over to Unity and just have a look at it. And there we go. That's our hurt effect texture, and it's made, which is good. All right, so we can move on to the next step where I'll talk about the Hurt Effect script. We're on to our second step, which is to discuss the Hurt Effect script. Let's first assemble everything. So for our player blue, I'll attach the Hurt Effect script. So I'll just drag it in. And the script requires the Hurt Effect texture. So I'll attach that in. I'll just scroll to it, that's it. Okay, and I'll do the same for the red player. So I've selected the red player, drag in the herd effect texture, and of course attach the texture. Okay, so let's build and run. Let's connect as any player. 
And to easily see what will happen, let's just jump up into the sky and take some fall damage. And there we go. Our screen just turned red briefly, which is good. I'll disconnect from here. I'll actually set up instead. I'll set up a server here so we can see the texture better and how it nicely covers over the screen. This time I'll pick a red player, jump into the sky, and take a bit of fall damage. And there you go, it's really simple. So I'll do that again. Maybe I'll just get destroyed this time. Yeah, I did. Oh well, let me just try again. All right, and there we go. So it's really simple effect, and it's really obvious that the player has gotten hurt. So I might also just connect with another player and just make sure that getting shot at also has the same effect. Okay, so I'll join as a blue team player. I'll move this one to the side. All right, and I'll just fire away. There we go. Yes, and the red player, as you can see, was hurt, and they saw the screen hurt effect. Let me change the weapon to the particle cannon. See what happens there. Yep, and it's working just fine as well. Every time the player is hit, their screen turns red, and I can see that the same will happen when I fire from the red player to the blue player. All right. So that's pretty good. Okay, so we can pretty much stop with that and go and talk about the script. So I'll just close these down. All right, stop playing here and go ahead and discuss our hurt effect script. I'll expand the summary. And as you saw, the script is attached to the players. And this script constantly accesses the health and damage script to see if the player's health has reduced. And in the beginning, it accesses the player stat script to see what the player's max health is. Now in the variables, we have here the texture slot that we attach the hurt effect texture to. We have two references here, my transform and HD script. And a couple of other variables. We have your previous health. This is what we use to capture the player's health at each frame, and then we compare that health value with the player's current health. So you'll see that in the update function. Then we have here a display time. This is how long the screen hurt effect should show, and this is a boolean to control whether to show it or not. So in the start function, we set up the references and we get the player's max health. Then in the update function, if for any reason the previous health value becomes greater than the max health, then just set it to the max health. And when we have a situation of the player's current health being less than this captured value, which was captured in the previous frame, it means then that the player has lost health. So then we just set the previous health to be that current health. And then we do a check whether display hurt effect is false. If it is, then set it to true so that the hurt effect texture will draw. Now we use that because of the particle cannon, because the particles can hit the player very quickly in quick succession, well faster than 1.5 seconds anyway. And because of that, we just use this, otherwise we'll see flickering, all right? Then we always need to keep the previous health value up to date, so this captured value. So if the player's health is increasing, you know, it's regenerating over time, then of course we need the previous health value to be whatever the current health is. So that way when we do the comparison, it'll be correct. All right, now in the on GUI function, if display hurt effect is true, then we just simply draw that texture and make it stretch across the screen. So you see here, scale mode dot stretch to fill. And we can see that the texture's width and height is the screen dot width and screen dot height. So the full width and height of the screen. And here's that uh, coroutine for turning off the herd effect. So after 1.5 seconds has elapsed, and it was started back up here, once that 1.5 seconds has elapsed, then display herd effect is set to false, and of course, it'll no longer show in the on GUI function. So that's it, it's really very simple. It's all about just checking what the player's health is compared to their health in the previous frame. And with that, that's it for the hurt effect. So this was one of the nice shorter videos. 
I'll see you in the next video when we start to implement explosion effects.